the scene. You just installed TF2 for the first time. You hop into a ca into casual and you're thrown into a payload upward match. The, the round has just begun and you see a soldier with a triple unusual set rocket jump out of spawn with his festivized Australian rocket launcher and you sat and you're sat there and you think, dang, that guy knows what he's doing. I wanna be that cool one. One day later, you load into a different match and you see a scout with a nice unusual. And you think, last time I saw a man with a glowing hat, he was good. So you follow him, because now you've associated a shiny hat with a good player. As a, as a TF2 community, I'm sure most of us have had a similar experience. And when you're new, we come to think this way. But now, I'm going to ask the question, do hats make you good at TF2? Hello, this is Eva Chicken. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a controversial th topic, and that is, do hats make you good at TF2. Now if you're an experienced player you're going to think, well of course not, how can something purely cosmetic affect my gameplay, or more importantly my skill? Well I'm here to tell you it won't affect your skill, but it sure as heck will affect your gameplay, and most importantly your experience. But before we start we need to go back, back to when hats were first added in a classical subday of 2009, that's 11 years ago just to show how old this game is. But, that's besides the point. In the class level update, 22 hats were, ha hats were added, and the hats were as follows. The baseball build, sports shine, the bonk helm, the ye old banker boy, the stainless pot, the tyrant's helm, the gentleman's service medal, the brigade helm, the respectless rubber glove, the glengarry bonnet, the scotsman's stovepipe, the officer's yushenka, the tough guy's toque, the engineer's cap, the Texas slim dough and shine, the Texas tin gallon, this medic hat that I can't actually say, the Vintage Tyrolean, Master's Yellow Belt, Professional's Panama, Ritzy Rick's Hair Fixative, Backbiter's Billy Cock, and the Camber Beard. Now, I wasn't around for this update, but you can imagine anyone who was able to have one of these hats would have been very superior to those who did not have one of these lovely hats. It's worth noting at this point, TF2 is still pay to play. Now that we covered a bit of history, let's get back to the meat of the video. The question at hand. Do hats make you better at TF2? Now, like I said earlier, no. But they affect your experience. For example, say you're trying to get your team to push. You push. You're an all line painted scout set, and you're telling your team to push. They're going to think of you as an obnoxious, little sweaty, salty scout man who blames anyone but themselves when they die. Here's another example. If you were a Gibbous engineer turtling in the intel room on, say, 2 Fort, people will think this guy is a total noob but maybe less of one than an engineer with no hats at all. On the other hand, end of the spectrum, if you were playing s Sniper with the anger, you might be seen as an edgy player. What I'm saying is there are stereotypes for players who wear certain things, but I'm no soundsman, so don't expect a full stereotype on every item. You expect that, but based on what, on what hats you wear, you will be treated differently. Now, all the examples so far are of, are of how your team will treat you. But what about your enemy? If you were a scout in online, like I mentioned earlier, people will probably try hard you. If you have an unusual, most of any, most of almost any kind people will think you have some kind of skill, and here's why. If you are good at the game, you are invested, and if you are invested, there's a chance that money will also be invested in something like nice hats. You don't see fresh installs immediately spending money on golden pants or unusuals. This is just unheard of. Typically, you want to start small. You buy one hat for one class, most likely your main, or you buy an all-class hat, but something small, and depending on how fast they make the transition and how much pressure is on them from friends or the community, they may make the mistake of buying a hat, a $7 hat off the Manco store, when the same hat on Backpack.tf may only cost them 2 to 3 refined metal. Oftentimes, TF2 players joke about hats that make you good at the game, and I just thought I would put this to the test with this video. Anyway, that's all for this one. 